I'm David Pilbeam and I'm a chemical engineer with Energy. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Acorn Hydrogen Project and the value of using low carbon gases like hydrogen instead of typical fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas. Hydrogen is the first and lightest element on the periodic table, consisting of just one proton and one electron. It's the most abundant chemical in our universe, but it's not normally found by itself. It really likes to react, like it does in water, which is two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. Lots of people have become very interested in hydrogen recently, because it only produces water when it's burned, unlike fossil fuels, which can produce CO2, soot, and other problematic particles. There are two main methods for making hydrogen, electrolysis and reformation. If you want to find out more about electrolysis, search online for something called the Dolphin Project, which is exploring using electricity from offshore wind turbines to make hydrogen. To produce hydrogen in very large quantities, you can use a process called reformation, which involves splitting up fossil fuels and water into CO2 and hydrogen. When we produce hydrogen from fossil fuels, we need to take an extra step and capture the CO2 so that we don't emit it into the atmosphere. This is the technology that we're focusing on for the Acorn Hydrogen Project. Here at St. Fergus in the northeast of Scotland, we'll have access to the Acorn carbon capture and storage infrastructure, which means that we don't have to go out and build a whole bunch of carbon capture kits somewhere else. Hydrogen definitely has an important role to play in a sustainable future. So we can use hydrogen for anything that we normally use fossil fuels for currently. In our homes for heating and cooking, in industry for heating and power generation, and in transport as a replacement for petrol or diesel. On Acorn, we're using fossil fuels to make hydrogen, but because we can make the hydrogen and capture the CO2 at one central location, it means that we don't have to try and figure out how we're going to capture CO2 from every cooker in every house and every car on every drive. And a lot of the pipelines that we use to transport fossil fuels can be reused to transport hydrogen which means that we don't have to spend a fortune building new pipelines to connect every house. This project won't directly impact energy prices, but if we don't start doing something to tackle our CO2 emissions now, we're all going to end up paying a lot more to tackle the impacts of climate change in the future. As we move closer to the net zero targets, it's likely that a mechanism will be put in place, such as a carbon tax on emitters, that will escalate making low-carbon alternatives more cost-competitive and therefore more attractive. The Acorn Hydrogen Project is an important step on the road to net zero. This project will play an essential role in helping to meet Scotland's targets of reducing CO2 emissions by 75% by 2030, as well as reaching net zero by 2045. PerlyDot have been working on low-carbon solutions for years. And so all of us working on this project are really excited to be taking the first steps towards both Scotland and the UK's journeys towards a low carbon future.